stop I had and stuff. There we go. Hi. Hey y'all, hey. <laughs> As Johnny says. <laughs> How's everybody? Hopefully you're good and fine out there. Hopefully the earth stopped moving over there in the NY. Statue of Liberty got struck by lightning. The ground started moving. Eclipse tomorrow. It'll be okay. Yeah, everyone that's Bible. The, the, epicenter, the <laughs> epicenter was at Bedminster. That's what I heard. Did you see the memes on Twitter with Ivanka rising from the grave with a classified <laughs> document? <laughs> Lord, <I admit. laughs> Twitter had no chill that day. No chill at all. Oh, it was so funny because MTG had said that the eclipse and the earthquake, quite, they were signs, you know, that you know, these libtards, blah, blah, blah. It's like, uh, do you know the epicenter was at Bedminster? Yes, it was. A you sign. Hope it's not a sign, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and people were like dunking on her too. They're like, yeah, a two-time adult, uh, an, a, a divorced adulteress who bears false witness every day is going to tell us that we need to repent. Okay, like you better hope it's not a sign because. Um, God don't miss, neither does karma. So I'm just saying. Better give one of those signs to Bober, who uh, was overindulging at a, a big meeting with Republicans, and they cut her off on the bar. <laughs> <laughs> cut her off because she was like a, a sloppy drunk or something. <laughs> she was overserved, they said. Overserved. Somebody served her too much. She's a drunk. Like, and then the cicadas are supposed to come out a couple days after the eclipse to Johnny. So, you know, the locusts. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just waiting. I did say, because, you know, the whole Pluto-Saturn conjunction, how they say it happened on 9-11 and then it happened during COVID. And then the next one is going to be famine because there's already war, pestilence, and now famine. So they'll eat up all the crops or there'll be something wrong with the food supply or something like that. So we're heading that direction, I guess. It, the Chicago land area, meaning the area outside Chicago and Chicago, is in that area where there's the overlap of the 17 year and the 13 year locust. Like, we're going to have the trillions that they're talking about <laughs> here. They, like, <laughs> they were saying a hundred trillion, a hundred trillion. And I did not know because we don't get those out here. Um, I didn't know that you can't kill them with bug spray, they won't die. What is it's, anything? They I, and you find their shells everywhere. It's like and they're so loud. You go outside and it's just like you know deafening in oh the daytime. God, it is. Mm -hmm. It's like an I've alarm in Florida. One. We had them. It was one on my window, and I thought literally the because they have fire alarms in the thing to where they'll test them every now and then to make sure they can go off. And I thought that's what it was, but it wouldn't stop. And I'm like, what the heck is it noise? I'm outside with my head, and then it's like, okay, it's not out here. It's literally on my window. I had to go get spray to get it off the window. Like, you son of a mother. You don't get out of here. Mm -hmm. They cling to everything. Your screens on your windows, and they're just, they're everywhere. It's like, oh, my God. Get away. I, I did get me some little Eclipse sunglasses at Lowe's. I don't think we're going to see the whole thing in my area. I think we're only going to see, like, a part of it, maybe, like the bottom yeah. half. But I, I still got the glasses for it, though. Like uh, Portland, uh, I think where Johnny is, is only going to see about 20 to 30 percent of it. And um, further south in California, you'll see maybe 30, 40 percent. We yeah. have nothing but clouds where I am. I ain't going to see well, enough. We're well, supposed to be able to see the poor thing pretty much. I ain't going outside. I mean, <laughs> well, I got my little glasses, so I'll be I'll be waiting, and I'll be pissed if I spent a whole three dollars to not see nothing. <laughs> they're they're saying it, it's going to be partly cloudy here. I'm like, all right, clouds, you better be break in the day midday so I can see this eclipse. <laughs> I'm just I'm just happy for the uh, for the rapture, man. Jesus, come and get your children, because seriously, oh, Put MTG oh. there first, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming back, ain't it? Go ahead. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Monday. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I got a couple things to do, so if he could wait, that'd be great. I got to go to the store at least. I got a couple jelly bean bags I need mm -hmm. to eat first. <laughs> I mean, I ain't, I ain't really got time for all that. So, 
<clears throat> but I'm a heathen, so he'll probably leave me behind. So there's that. Hey, man, that, I, I'm <laughs> right there with you. We'll be on the party bus to hell. That's all right. I told you it's nice this time of year. Mm -hmm. Well, Jen, you got anything you want to announce coming up? Anything? I got my uh, birthday celebration Saturday night, um, and then Sunday night will be on my channel again. So, uh, turning sixty three this year, and uh, small just going live sometime. Um, haven't set a time yet. I got to talk to Johnny about that, but um, that'll be Saturday night. And if anyone wants a personal reading, I have openings in August. Yes, I am booking up further out than I used to. And I don't do emergency readings, so don't ask me. Um, you know, I like my time off and I do not do, if I start doing emergency readings, then I'm doing emergency readings all the time. And I have no time off. So sorry, no. <laughs> you have to plug out and recharge too. My, my mental <laughs> care is uh, <laughs> you know my mental health time is uh good for my sanity especially with an eclipse going on right I, it's in aries i have four planets in aries it's coming right across me and then all this other energy that's in aries i'm like oh my god i'm, I'm like for those out there who read you know this takes a lot sometimes especially when you do it all day so you have to unplug at some point the kittens just celebrated their second birthday on April 2nd. Old. <laughs> Can you believe I've had them now? It'll be two years in July I've had them, but they were born uh, two years ago in April. So they're yeah, Aries too. So Lu Lucy's been very chill. The kittens have been all wound up like the eclipse energies hitting them. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe they're two years old. Oh, in my head, they're yeah. still kittens. You got them three days ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're not as tiny as when she first got them, but in my head, <laughs> They're still kittens. I think they'll always in my head be the kittens. <laughs> yeah, the children, the kittens, because Lucy's so like, you know, adult supervisor and they're they're like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw in the, in the chat that Terry Solaris had bought um she said a ro a remote control little car for the cats. So that's like their new toy. So they chase the remote <laughs> control car around. <laughs> You should get one for the kitties. Herding cats now. Mm -hmm. That's a way to do it, though. Get them to chase something. Laser beams, anything. They get distracted. They, they got more <laughs> toys in this house. Their their favorite thing, it's under the Christmas tree. It's a little cricket, and it when they touch it, it chirps. Oh. So I'll be like doing readings, you know, here. <laughs> where it's chirping in the background. <laughs> so, oh, wait. I ain't got my um, devil you, horns. You, you got anything? You can buy them expensive toys, and this is what they want. The ribbon off a package or the the empty treat bag. or yeah, That's their favorite. The the pull tabs off milk jugs. Yeah, they love those. It's like kids. You give them a toy, they play with the box. <laughs> they, they don't care that there's something in the box for them. No, they just want the box. <laughs> this is good. Imagination and play. That's what you're supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Imagination. Let's let's start. Let's start. Let's start here. The Bible. We'll start with the Bible. There the is one that's been corrected with a sharpie by Trump or <laughs> <laughs> or well, the King James. There's a church called Global Visions Bible Church, and Greg Locke is the pastor there. He is a Trump supporter, is, is the minimum. That's like saying the least understatement. He is the person, he has said that the leftists are all crackheads, and he is very, very anti-LGBT, which probably tells you something. He is, he is, he is very backwards thinking. And his church has been vandalized several times. And somebody has painted F.U. on his pulpit one time um, because he also preaches a lot of division. And then he goes out to the community and does the same thing. Well, this time somebody backed up a trailer, unhooked it from the truck. It was full of Bibles and they set it on fire outside his church because 
he also has done book bannings and book you no know, book burnings himself too. And so someone has put a bunch of Bibles outside of his church and set it on fire. My question is, will they continue to vandalize his church? He said he's not going nowhere. He will not be intimidated about it, about all that whole thing. So will they continue to vandalize the Global Visions Bible Church? The police are on the case. Too. Like, idiot, put some cameras up on your church. <laughs> They have some. They seen the man, but they couldn't see him clearly because it was five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, something like that. I would put on a Trump mask and go and burn. They're like that Westmoreland. Baptist Church or whatever it was, Westmore Baptist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and on the bottom, it's going to grow. It's going to get worse. Yeah. Uh, sporadically from time to time, just to try to make it anxious. They're not done with them yet. They have more work to do. There'll be more messages, so get out the spray paint cans. <laughs> yeah, this is going to go on for a long time. <laughs> Probably till he retires. <laughs> Preaching hate. Now... I don't, I don't condone the vandalism, despite how disgusting of a human being that person is, but you're kind of defeating the purpose when you stoop to their level. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, but I got a yes. They'll just get craftier about it to try to evade traps or whatnot. Yes, the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles, there will be something here that costs a lot of money that is done the next time, more than likely. I think they may be aiming for if he's got like buses and cars and things of that nature with the chariot, they may be going for that. So we may be talking gas tank tampering or um, cutting the tires or some, something like that to where they're maybe targeting the cars. Um, <laughs> listen, sir, anybody can be a victim at any time. This is true. But if you knew God, even just a little bit, then probably half of this wouldn't happen too. What comes out of your mouth, and this is what the people were telling him who spray painted his church. Because this is, mind you, this is like the sixth incident. The person who spray painted the church says your words have consequences. The stuff that comes out of your mouth sows hate and division in the world, so forth and so forth. That's why that guy who committed the crime in Buffalo when he shot those people, that's why they're going after the social media platforms. They're just saying that the stuff that's being put out on your platforms sows hate and division and radicalizes people. Take that into account the next time you go preaching something. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. Or not. You do what you want to do. I do what I want to do. So you go right ahead. Global vision's my arse, though. Hope Hicks, bless her heart, she is set to testify in the hush money payment election tampering criminal case. Will she say anything impactful? Because haven't we heard from her a couple times already? Did, did you hear the guy that loaned him the money for the bond that got rejected has ties to the bank in Dominica, has ties to the porn industry? Really? Yes. <laughs> so he got a bond 
while he's at trial for paying a porn star from a bank <laughs> that gets makes money off the porn industry. Is that the Axel's bank? Yes. Because that's the one that loaned him like the two hundred million dollars or whatever it was over the yes. years. Oh. Won't she say anything in back? <laughs> we'll come to that. He's trying to stop that case right now, too. He's again using the same stuff that was denied before after Judge Marchand took it to the ethics board or whatever. They said, yeah, no, this is fine. He's using the same arguments again. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Yes. <laughs> Here's my whistleblower card. And uh, maybe something like a conversation she had with one of his kids. <laughs> Um, so, you know, like, yeah, she, she has a different perspective on it now. Uh, but there was something that was, uh, treacherous about this. And there's something that happened with one of the kids. So, um, it, it brings about a big change in this court case, um, because it shows the premeditation behind it. Um, and something else is going to grow out of this. So I don't know if it's related to the kids. Something is going to grow out of this. So, but yes. I got a yes. The tower and the stars. Yes. Thank you to Cheryl who sent me this. Heck. Oh, that's pretty. It is pretty. That's the back of them. Mm. And Deck chooses the reading. I said, does she have anything impactful to say? And this is one of the cards. The, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's the death card, too. So there is some something that has um, that will come out. Um, again, the Three of Pentacles. We'll ask about the kids next for this case, too. There's the Three of Pentacles. So some sort of teamwork collaboration type thing. So this is not just her, this is, or just her involved or him involved. There's a, a, a network or a group of people. The hermit and the strength. So she has either overheard something or has gotten information some way, somehow, but she will be doing some extra speaking. So yes, there is something else for her to say. So this is the problem when you commit crimes in front of a whole group of people is now way too many people know your business and you can't wrangle all of them together, especially when they have a change of heart or a strike of conscience. And not all of them are going to go to jail for you. There you go. <laughs> what impact does this have on the Trump children? Oh, CC, CC's uh, correcting me in the chat. The, the um the bank that was tied to the porn industry uh is the guy that helped him uh take true social public sorry mm -hmm. so come up with the bond money <laughs> that was the, correct that thank you cc what was the question johnny what impact does his new york case have on his children on well the three main ones Hey, if he goes to jail. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger than hush money. This is... They were helping with this campaign. Are any of them testifying in this? I'd love to see a perjury trap for them. them. You know they had conversations in Trump Tower about this when they got Michael Cohen to pay her off. Okay. 
Can I get any more yes cards? <laughs> Same. Yes, something is going to grow out of this because there's more corruption that's getting uncovered and the truth is out. Um, something, something that was stolen, uh, they're going to return to, to something that was stolen. So... I don't know if it's votes, ballots, something like that. Um, communication that was stolen. I got daddy on the bottom here. So there's a direct connection between the kids and daddy and something, something else that's very corrupt. Probably campaign finance, maybe campaign finance violations, additional ones. So I got the whip, the ring, the, what do you call this? Fox, cross, and garden. So read simply a sexual relationship that uh, was fraudulent, that they're going to have, you know, issues with because of that. There's punishment. It's, it's going to be painful. And, um, you know, it affects their popularity and, and, and standing, which everybody in New York, from my understanding, knows that the Trumps are just crap people like nobody wants to do business with them anyways because they're just thugs and thieves and liars and con men um another thing is there's there, there's a pattern a continuation of fraud um that is painful but it's also something around a campaign too so i don't know if this would be a super PAC or some other trump related stuff but there's a pattern of fraud there too. So, surprise, surprise. <laughs> so there's, you know, abusive or a pattern of fraud within this organization. So if it's his rallies, if it's his super PAC, it's anywhere where there's a large attendance of people. So yeah. Um, I get <laughs> There is conflict around payments. Well, of course there is. <laughs> there's conflict because there's the five of wands and the six of pentacles. There's conflict in payments with the six of pentacles or payouts. But the problem comes in with uh, messages back and forth with instructing who to do what type of thing. And this this goes this goes back a very long time with the empress and the three of wands because we're talking expansion of something both of these are cards of expanding or expansion there's also bringing other people into this that really didn't need to be if you i mean it's a crime but it, nobody needs to be but to bring something in the people that didn't need to be into this um three of cups three of pentacles so those children involved do have their name on something. It has something to do with documents or messages or papers or something, and it's worth a whole bunch of money or talking about. The conversations are about large sums of money paid out at one time. Um, but I don't know if there's going to be anything like prosecutions or anything like that, because there is a seven of cups, and so that's how it ends, sort of ends in things going all over the place. It's not really something you can tie them down and say, here, you committed this crime, but they are implicated in a whole bunch of stuff, at least testimony wise, because they got a bunch of info. So if they have not testified, they may want to have some sort of written statement or something that they could put out with the page of wands, but there's something like that too. With family like these who needs enemies. So if if they take down, which uh, Letitia James has already moved to dissolve Trump Org, correct? Or am I mistaken on that? Say it again. Letitia James has already started to dissolve Trump Org, correct? I believe. Yeah. And what that part of her case? They, they have a. Um, they have a for five years or something like that from ever operating in New York, correct? Right, they can't operate in New York, but uh, the judge has called a meeting for this week, I believe, 
to go over the failed bond. <laughs> yeah, but this is I was I was just going to to Johnny's point because it just makes me wonder, okay, y'all are broke. That four million dollars you all made from helping your dad, you were ordered to pay it back. So what are they gonna do for the next? I mean, Trump's over there grifting people left and right. So he's not he ain't sharing that money with his kids. You know, and I don't think Laura Trump's singing career is going to take off anytime soon. And unless Gargoyle starts doing porn, because she sure looks like she's auditioning for it. What are they going to do if they're banned from doing business with any banks that are out, that are based in New York, which newsflash, all banks have to go through New York. <laughs> how will, how will uh, Don Jr. fund his dipping habit? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Claudia and Esso. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you. So, um, so what's the child's name? Where is it at? Don Hankey. He is the one. He okay. So going all the way back, he offered apparently initially to cover the four sixty four, and they did not disclose that. His lawyers did not, Don's lawyers did not disclose that. So there's a possible ethics problem there that we can look into as well. But Don Hankey, who is the leader of the $22.5 billion Hankey Group, because Letitia James has filed a motion saying she wants to make sure that this company can cover the 175. So that's that's her whole legal thing she's got going there. They got it. They, they got it. He's got it anyway. I think he personally, they say, is worth $7 billion or something crazy like that. So he's he's got money, at least I don't know how much liquid asset he's got, but I, they can cover it. Um, it's a real estate firm. He has a Toyota dealership, an auto insurance, rental car, and dealer and software companies per Forbes. Knight Specialty Insurance provides high interest loans to car buyers with low credit scores. Long shot. <laughs> um, so he has said that he will offer, or he offered the Trump group 175 for um, a minimal fee. And as far as payback goes, has he ever met Donald Trump before on this payback Are business? You? But anyway, <laughs> put that money in a dumpster and set it on fire. And we set it on fire, please. Um, but he is on the actual Forbes list, so he can probably sneeze and blow out $175 million and doesn't really care because he is worth $7 billion himself and his companies are worth twenty-two. dollars so that he, he, can, he can afford the loss. My question is, though, what is his angle? Why help him? What are you trying to get from Donald Trump? Because it is not just your charity. You want to help a man in need. You offered the man initially $500 million, basically. And then when that fell through, because he has no real collateral, you said, okay, well, now that it's been reduced, I can do the 175. Why are you still trying to help him? What are you trying to get from him? Because he said he is not making like a campaign contribution. He's not really a big giant Trump supporter, although he will vote for him. And he, no, sir. You're not a giant Trump supporter, but you're going to write him a check for 175 million. Come on, I want somebody. friends like that. I okay. want. <laughs> it's like all the billionaires that suddenly are giving again to his uh, fundraiser the other day. I think it was 50 million or something that he raised dollars. because he's promising tax cuts for the billionaires again, and it's like. But you're you're betting on he's going to get elected. He's not going to get elected. He's he is. Like, going to be 30% of the votes in the country. Because his quote is, I will support him in the future, but I wouldn't consider myself a major supporter. Even though him, his wife, and his two sons all uh, contributed to Donald Trump's campaigns over the years. And you just now offered him $500 million reduced to 175 and then you offered him that. So that's a major supporter, if you ask me. Did you cover Hunter Biden's uh, legal bill? No, you didn't. Are you over there helping Rudy Giuliani and Fox News? <laughs> There's that. You didn't help him. Like, he's got legal bills, too. 
and extreme debt from, from his judgments and verdicts. So what does Hanky want from Trump, huh? Uh, what does he want, Braxton? What does he want? He wants some help with work overseas I'm getting, how to partner up with some other corrupt people. Uh, I think he wants help with like laundering some money. Uh, making the connections with who to work with. So get your house down to Dominica. That bank's pretty good for it. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm getting that he wants, in the new administration, he wants an even things that have been long standing. So perhaps regulations or whatever, Nick's aid, because he wants absolute financial and powerful control. So even with these two, it's almost like with the bear and the anchor, the guy's already financially set. He's a billionaire. You're going to die before you use up all that money. But it's almost like that's not enough. Do you see what I'm saying? It's he wants I to have he wants to be like secretary of treasury like Manu. No, uh -uh. I don't get any government cards here. He just wants a greater stake and conversations and negotiations in regards to financing and control. So. I don't know if this means he's looking to become an absolute monopoly in that whole industry where they loan to um, low credit, high risk uh, people to be that sort of lender. Um, he wants favor. Yeah, he wants favor, but it's more like an, a financial and control sort of thing. But I don't get a government position at all because I didn't get the tower. So... And like I said, things that are long, long standing, he wants those taken away. So if there's regulations, he wants those taken away or diminished. He wants those gone. Do you see what I'm saying? So he's had some issues with regulations in the past. So oh, I didn't know that. But it's like, yeah. you know, something that is long standing that is old. He wants to end it. So the only thing I can think of is is regulations. Something around ethics too could be. <clears throat> that he wants he wants to be a predator yeah in his business and mm -hmm. to get away mm -hmm. with it because millionaires and billionaires hate regulations oh yeah the leave less regulations the, the more money i can make yeah leave it to the taxpayers to like you know like every time there's an oil spill or something terrible mm -hmm. they get the the people to lower the regulations and then when something horrible happens they offload the cost to the taxpayers mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, but that that's what I get. I don't get a cabinet position at all. So I get world and three of pentacles. There's something global too with collaborations. He wants he wants to be to be a, okay. I always say this: What do billionaires and millionaires want the most? Experiences. They got money. They got stuff. You want a fancy car? They got it. You want a fancy house? They got it. Jewelry and watches and clothes. They got all that. They want something they don't have, and that's always experiences either with people or places or things. And he may want all of that at the same time. He wants some sort of influence in another place that maybe some sort of regulation is stopping him from doing because you have the page of swords, which is like your negative news or then coupled with judgment. It's like some sort of rule that he can't break or rule that he cannot go past. Um but this is almost like something that's been brought against him before. So I would be interested in like if he had some sort of court case or some sort of um, what you call it when you try to send like a bill to a congressman or something that say, hey, I need you to to um, lobby on this. I'll campaign campaign contribution into the dot and all that type of stuff because I need this removed and that removed and then it still doesn't happen. So he needs major influence, which if Trump would ever be 
president of the United States, there's his influence. Remember what I did for you. There is no greater buying of a man than a $175 million bond. So he wants some sort of influence that would reach here and elsewhere. It's like they can't see past their own interest. Like, yeah. that's great. That's great. But do you realize that America will cease to exist? <laughs> you know like it's, it's like okay they want to be the richest person in america then they want to be the richest person in the world it's like what are you gonna do it like do something good with it yeah you're gonna be remembered as just a nasty awful person yeah you're gonna remember like elon musk don't be mm -hmm. that guy because it ain't even the money it's it's i guess it's the power behind it yeah which anyway um, so he may be in some ethics trouble, or they may be, because his lawyers, Trump's lawyers and stuff, did not disclose that they had an offer for the 464, and there may be an ethics violation. They're looking into it now. Um, Does it surprise anyone? <laughs> <laughs> and I want to know if if they'll come up with anything. Now, mind you, I don't have high hopes, but... Will they come up with, yes, there is an ethics violation or not? On his bond? Yes, because they were apparently supposed to report, his lawyers were supposed to report that Hanky offered them 464. And they never disclosed that, but they were supposed to. Now... It may be one of those discretionary type things to where if some sort of lawyer or judge wants to move forward, they could, but. Your little butt on me. I see you scooching over here. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, I'm just now seeing your your it's little amazing. Thumbnail. Excuse me, Donna. I have to grab some papers and he's in. The <laughs> I get a yes uh, because the details about this bond are going to be burdened. Um, and there's there's some premeditation and that they're going to defend. Like there's something they had an agreement on of we're going to set it up this way. Um, they knew what they were supposed to turn in with the bond. They knew the details. And there's something um, that big yes that they're going to have a problem with. Thank you, Corliss. Thank you. I got to know. There's whatever paperwork had to be turned in. Stuff was missing or taken away. Innocent. Maybe they'll just play stupid. Well, he didn't tell me. I mean, they could always blame the client because he he likes to lie to his lawyers. So there's that. We'll, we'll get to that. Too, and that's a whole other thing. These people are trying to help you for mm -hmm. whatever reason. Like, why why, why do you handicap them, too? Like, just, I... Because I, he's the smartest man... I'm the smartest man, the smart. I have the biggest brain. <laughs> beautiful brain. I went to the doctor. The doctor said, Trump, sir, you have a beautiful brain, better than Einstein's. <laughs> That's I mean, why. the narcissist thing, it still doesn't fit in. Like, like I said, I've one time in my whole life I've experienced a narcissist. That was it. Like, That's not a thing... That's in my realm, in my world. That that is that's. You know, you have to be semi 
intelligent, right, to become a billionaire, usually you, you have to have some business savvy, whether it's crooked or not, you have to have some savvy. I just can't believe anybody would want to partner or support Trump the idiot. <laughs> Other, other than the regulations they want. You don't you do know, out of the time. kindness of your heart, not him. He doesn't give off the, I'm going to pay you back, brother, one day type of thing. No. And it's a tax people, write off of for, for a billionaire. It's like, oh, yeah, I gave him 175. These these people, though, it's like, um, I hope you got paid up front because y'all seen all them people that went to jail or about to go to jail that did legal work, that did crime for him. And he ain't paid him nothing. <laughs> Giuliani. Uh huh. That was his his butt buddy for God's sakes. They've been friends since 1915, and he's like going down the river. And Donald Trump just raised fifty million dollars. He could have helped that man do something. No. Nope. Gi Giuliani, who? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question. There goes the bus. <laughs> I've got a question, Johnny. Yes, you know how in the uh, uh, the congressional he hearing, impeachment hearing, they inter they had a witness that testified from the Alabama prison. Are there yeah. going to be in Jack Smith's case in D.C. Are there going to be any, any witnesses testifying from prison? <laughs> what a what a disaster! I don't know how the how Comer Gomer Pyle got up there and said this is a great idea. Let's do you know, this. Navarro is like trying his damnedest to get out of jail. He he is not happy in jail. <laughs> you should have thought about that when you did when you defied a congressional subpoena. I still can't stop laughing at that that guy testified from prison, a known you know embezzler of uh, uh, pension funds or whatever it was he was in prison for eighty million dollars. <laughs> testifying, that's your ace witness in the hole. <laughs> but please do tell me about Hunter Biden's laptop and yeah. his new <laughs> or Hillary Clinton's emails. Uh huh. Please. I got two that flew out. There's a four pinnacles in the hermit. Someone is under confinement. I don't know where they are. Because um, the four of pentacles could indicate that this person with the hermit, like solitary, solitary confinement. So not that they're violent, but they may have a name to where you can't be in the general population because you might be a target of some sort. So either that or this person has been released after a stint of public incarceration like a, a Lev or Igor or something like somebody who got arrested publicly and everybody knows who you are but whoever this is is known to people um, for having been arrested or they're currently under solitary yeah I saw that but yes <laughs> Very thing, Gozar and Biggs have been subpoenaed in Arizona, in Arizona I think for, uh -huh, for the fake electors I saw that mm-hmm I, I'm getting somebody uh, that's testifying about the corruption is tempered um, and hidden away. So I'm going to say witness protection. <laughs> like they're, okay, that makes sense. they're, they're uh, you know, trying to protect them from the emotional treasonous ones. So it's somebody that did work with them in the government. Uh, but I'm I'm getting witness protection, like keeping keeping the way somewhere secret. That's right. Will anybody be dialing in from prison? I get a yes. Get the fox here too. Somebody that was covert or planning something or some sort of a trap. So I'm wondering if perhaps some of the peanut butter boys or what were, what was the other group? Peanut butter the, boys and the boys oath creepers. And, uh, oath keepers. Oath creepers, that would be, you know, this right here. Um, the, after they got sentenced to what, 20 something, 30 something years in prison, they're like, oh crap, okay, yeah, we got to just <laughs> reduce our sentence. Yeah, I'm, I'm someone that's known or their, their punishment, their, um, they're trying to get their sentence lightened. Their, no, their sentence is well known. It's it's very famous, but they were acting covertly and they were setting traps. So that's why I was thinking like Oath Creepers or um, P 
peanut butter boys, people that were involved with the with the stuff that was painful oh, yeah. with the cross there. So um, that's why I was leaning towards that. This was the picture of all the Bibles that guy burned. Hold on. Can you make... Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. He had a not, whole trailer full of them. Clearly not enough. Add some more. Good <laughs> 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 Lord, <laughs> Clearly not enough. Add some more. Oh, my God. One wasn't enough. Let's get a whole trailer of them. Johnny, can I please ask a quick question not to derail your... You derail it all you want to. So since you just showed that picture... We have seen just recently, I forget what state it was, that the Moms for Hate were running for school boards. They all lost. They all lost <laughs> again. Good job, you know? Um, so my question is, are we going to see these extremists, these culture wars that are just now trying to take people's rights, the book bans, that's violations of people's First Amendment rights. You don't have to read it. You have no right to not let somebody else read it. Do you see what I'm saying? And there's another school. I forget what state it was on. I saw it on YouTube. It was a clip, I think, from Alex, whatever her name is, on MSNBC, where there's a school that found a loophole to take children out of school for prayer and all that other stuff but it's not in the school. So they're taking them out. They found a loophole somehow. And um, so I'm wondering like, will, will these culture wars that are seeping into our everyday lives where these extremists are trying to force their views on us, are, are they gonna ixnay? Cause it's pretty freaking tiring, you know, like, <laughs> you know? Why can't your kid pray on the way to school or when they get up in the morning or after school or, you know, God is where you are. And let's say a person physically cannot speak. Do they now cannot speak to God? The God is in here. Your voice is in here. That's all you really need is just well, you talk to God. If you, you want, if you want religious teaching, there are private schools that will do that school. for you. Yeah. And then, and then that's the thing. That's another problem too. They're trying to start up all these religious charter schools using taxpayer money to take away. From, do you see what I'm saying? It's like, I'm ready for these stupid culture wars to end because it's just hurting people, you know, like it, it's gotten way out of hand. Wait, and they like, just bit, bend themselves in pretzels. But they they scream the loudest. They scream the loudest. So they bend themselves into pretzels trying to justify stuff. So like they're all for you know Christian nationalist government, you know, that that's what the forefathers intended. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. Um, but then when you remind them that Trump's got Jewish kids, they're like, Oh, well, they're free to worship how they want, and it's like so it's okay for some people, but not everybody. Got well, it. You, yeah, and, and, and just not to go off the rails here, Bruce Jenner, I will never call him Kristen or Caitlyn Jenner ever. He went on, he went to some protest in New York to keep transgender women from playing in women's sports. And then the son of a bee turned around the next day and went and played golf in a woman's team. It's like, he has no, don't, <laughs> don't, do not. But that's what I'm saying. It's like the culture wars and the hypocrisy just stop. So will the culture wars end? I get Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. There is this, it's, it's erratic and it's handed down with the Six of Pentacles is something that people either submit to or um, thank you, anything Halloween. The problem is mindsets do not go away overnight because the Archie Bunker mindset is still alive and well in this oh, country. Yeah. Now, the problem is those of us who are a little more or even a lot more enlightened still have to combat that. And so it'll still be there. However, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, this is something that should give some people some solace if they have more of a tomorrow is better mindset. Thank you, Beatrice. That 
there will be a time, if you look at the young people now, or even the people my age now, who have grown in a society that is more diverse, that is more accepting, that is more forward thinking, is going to become even more so in the future. The Archibanka mindset was at one point a majority. Mm -hmm. And now it is a very slim minority. Even within Republicans, it's a minority. I mean, the MAGA is anyway. And so this is the type of thing that does improve, but it improves over time. Knight of Pentacles is kind of slow. The Knight of Cups is about the image. It will be corrected, but over time, people will become a little more awakened to what is real and what is not with the High Priestess. This is information that is within a person. Judgment is the awakening, so awakening of that information that is within. So that's kind of where that is going to start is or end up eventually is people will become more awakened. They will understand what's important, what's not important, what skin color is and what it isn't and what religions are and what they aren't and so forth and so forth. And so forth. It will get better. I hope so, because I mean, I can see where these people just want social and political power, mm -hmm. but they've taken it to the extreme where it's seeping into public spaces that is shared by everybody in the yeah. community. You want to start some them. kids to pray in school? Great. Now let's bring the Jewish people in and force kids to start reading the Torah and bring the Muslims in and start forcing them to read the Quran. You don't have that right. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's just, it's... Mm. For some, yeah, you know, this is their lifestyle. Like they have changed their lives to go out and fight, 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 fight to sow division. You know, and the karma is on them. Um, and it's it's coming from the Republican Party and you know fighting fighting their family values and stuff. Um, but there is hope as more of these people go through the court system. Um I think we're going to see people coming together more, growing and coming together more. But some of these people that are dissatisfied, they're just going to continue to burden and, and you know, stir up stuff because they're, they, they want to see change that they're not going to see. Um, everything that they're looking for, all their, all their confused things that they're looking at are going to get blocked. So they will be constricted down. Um, can't have happen soon enough, but, Jeff. I'm telling you. You know, there's there's going to be some that will waken up to Johnny's point, and there's some that like that's just who they are. Never going to change them. I get yes. Eventually, they will be it'll things will improve and go in a different direction where people are more accepting of spirituality, not religion, not religion, spirituality. Um. But th this this has this has gone way too far, way too far. Like they just want to shove their religious views down everybody's throats, regardless of what your religious views are. Mm -hmm. They feel that they have a right to stomp on anybody else's beliefs, you know, like when even they can't figure out what they believe themselves, you know. <laughs> so meanwhile, when the guy put the effigy to Satan in the government building or the public building mm -hmm. they headed it why can't you tolerate somebody else's thing yeah now? there is no tolerance <laughs> at all at all it's about control and social and political power that's it even the kids are fighting for their rights to freedom to read books and things yeah. and you know those kids very quickly turn into voters and stuff and the you know when they attack children uh -huh. At these school board meetings, it just makes them look so little. It, it, you know, it's like who's the child here? The, you know, the immature adult or the teenager. And, and here's the thing: what's the importance of shoving your religious views down everybody else's throats in a school? So when that there's another mass shooting, while the kids are huddled under their desk, hoping that they don't die, they can sit there and pray to Jesus. Like, make it make sense. This it, this isn't about life and protecting children at all. Yeah. Because there's 8 million different ways to debunk that argument with facts, you know? But like well, said, It's Jen, not about morals either, because no. otherwise we wouldn't have the, the what's her names down there, begins with a Z, that, that are doing the three ways and stuff. It's like, yeah. it's not about morals <laughs> for them. No, Jenny, it wasn't, she wasn't engaging in gay sex because her husband was present. Okay, that's yeah. how, that's how you square that. <laughs> that's how you square that. 
<laughs> and because she's a good Christian woman, she was just doing what her husband it's, wanted her to do. It's like, fine, you go do all you want in your own home. Fine. But don't cram it down the schools and stuff that they can't, you know, talk about. You know, can't Reading, even know writing, they, arithmetic, teach them that stop with all the extra business. Okay. Keep God at home because yours might be different than mine. That's all we're really trying to say. All they're teaching the kids is one plus one equals three. <laughs> yeah. One plus one equals it doesn't exist. It's a hoax. Yeah. You That's know? that Trump University math. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Lena Hava got that Trump University law degree, too. Yeah, she, she got hers off the back of a box of Captain Crunch, I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't stand <laughs> Where's your red prayer? Red, what was it? The red red prayer? Red the red blood of Jesus prayer handkerchief. I ran out of blood. And I was right now. <laughs> oh my God. Trump should have sold that with his Bibles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and for a limited time, if you order now, <laughs> for you new viewers, this goes way back like four years ago to the red prayer. Oh towel. my god, handkerchief! <laughs> yeah, if he threw this, prayer, oh my god, he, 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 he would have sold out like that, guaranteed. Can you imagine him on BET at three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. I can't breathe. He needs a breakfast. Ooh, if y'all have too. not seen that man's infomercial, I ain't going to play it. The last time YouTube took my whole video and said you can't just demonetize the last time I played a video. Go look up the red. Let's know what I'm saying. The red blood of Jesus prayer handkerchief. Type that into the Googles. Find the video and just watch. <laughs> oh, it's it's special. And, and the breakfast song. That's always good. The breakfast song is special. That's really no more active crimes. <laughs> I showed it to my niece the other day because she'd never seen it. And we we laughed real hard out there. <laughs> The red blood of Jesus prayer handkerchief. Oh, it's not all one word, but he says it like okay, it is. I got so. mine right here. <laughs> <laughs> I must have brought it out the other day. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. No more Captain Crunch. <laughs> My Jesus blood is white. I don't know what that means. It's pure. Is that what it means? It's washed away all my sins, I guess. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of sins, um, this man, he, and lawyers, okay, his name is Todd Blanche, I think, B L A N C E. And he is Trump's lawyer there in the New York case. He was formerly a Democrat, and he has this very, very prestigious, according to his friends and colleagues, and reputation, a very, very prestigious law firm in practice and all that good stuff. Like, his life is set up to be golden. Had or has. <laughs> <laughs> now, he is Dumpy's lawyer. Why? Listen, you do what you want to do, okay? You do you, boo, okay? As, but at the same time, why this? He doesn't need this. He's got a very good practice going on and so forth and so Like, he's, he's got a life set up that is perfect for him, I'm sure. Or most people would be jealous, not most people, but some people would be jealous of if they covet that type of thing. 
to have the, the law degree and the fancy this and the fancy that and all that kind of stuff. But he is now going to be Donald Trump's lawyer. And the remember, some, some lawyers may understand case study to where you go through and you look for precedents and you look at other cases and you think, okay, this happened there. Maybe I can use that argument. Da, 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 da. Case study for Donald Trump is anyone who gets within 10 feet of him falls through a hole of the black abyss. Yeah, you become and their a entire lives become ruined. Their reputations become ruined. He ruins their credit scores and including the fruit in the refrigerator goes bad. He is not the type of person you want to be hooked up with. And yet this fool has left his whole practice and said, let me be your lawyer. He wants to be the case study that studied for the next hundred years in law school. <laughs> Here's what not to do: the Blanche story. Like I, I, what? Why are you? Why? Sir? That's my question. Why is it prestige? Is it the attention? Is it he thinks he can win, and so he's feeling a bit confident? Or five minutes why? of fame. But five minutes of fame. It's like Trump is toxic. Anybody that goes near him, you become a pariah or you you do so badly to please your client that you end up getting sanctioned by the freaking judge. <laughs> or lose your law license or, or have court. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing to be gained at all. It's just that I understand. I mean, you, again, you see them one after the other. And they just fall to the deaths, to their political deaths, to their career deaths. And you are a person who is standing at the edge looking at all the little lemming bodies down there. And you say, well, let me do it too. Maybe I can fly. Maybe I'm Dumbo and I know how to fly in the other elephants game. Mm -mm. I was about to start singing that song, I Believe I Can Fly, but uh-uh. <laughs> I believe I can fly R. Kelly ass in jail too, so you might want to... <laughs> <laughs> Diddy, P. Diddy probably could use some uh, lawyers right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, do what you want to do. But Lord. I ain't going to make it. You know, I it's have to. You know what, though? Let me, let me say this first. I'm, I'm going to take this back. Um, I probably shouldn't. Because we're supposed to be spiritual people, but I'm not always high vibration will get off of me. I'm supposed to. <laughs> we have done many questions of would we read for Donald Trump? And I would always say yes. I have to rephrase no, I would not. Case study. Don't get nowhere close to that man. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is legacy work. So I think he thinks I'll be in all the books and everything and everybody will know my name forever. It's it's all about image for him. Um he really thought about this and uh you know took action on it. Um he knows the judgment is that Trump's a loser, you know, that he can't he can't win, but he thinks it'll bring him an abundance of like clients and stuff. Um and he he just thinks that like sharing the fight will get him talked about. Yeah, it, it'll get you talked about, but it's not gonna. It's not worth it. It's, it's it's visions of grandeur. I'm getting. And Johnny, it's not just the lawyers. He's suing the people that helped him pop up Truth Social. So you can yeah, made public with eight billion dollars, and now it's like worth fifty eight dollars and sixteen cents. Yeah, and now he's like, and now he's like, nope, I'm suing you. You're not entitled to that money to help, you know, start truth. I mean, you don't get paid. Well, you lose your law license. You end up in jail. You're a you're a, a, a freaking pariah in society. Um, what? I why swear to God, he would sue his own kids. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's probably next. Yeah. <laughs> when he's up <laughs> couch cushions in Mar-a-Lago looking for quarters to pay his legal bills. He's gonna start saying, <laughs> not a, <laughs> not not a vodka. <laughs> but he'd sue his own kids if it if he thought he could win. Lord. Um, I get the rider, the coffin, the the what is this clover scythe and dog. There's he knows there's not a chance in hell that this thing is gonna win. 
he's doing it to perhaps get criminal clients. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> that's about it. Because that's only gonna, that's going to be your only clientele after this one. I, I, what, I, listen, the King of Swords. King of Swords is a very mentally sharp person. However. They are also a person who can fall victim to that same intelligence, especially high intelligence, to where you become a bit self-centered or egotistical, to where you figure you can figure it all out. You can do it because you know everything type of thing. And you pause it. Remain teachable, I have always said. And then this person is a person who can fall very can fall victim very easily to a person who does, is not teachable because they figure that they know more than you because they know something different than you. Because the Four of Pentacles, he feels as though well, he alone could do it. And then you have the devil and the hangman and the judge. He figures he can persuade the judge. He has the key argument there. That he is the one that can do it. He believes that he is capable of persuading the judge to see it his way. And then this is where it becomes an issue. His last card is the Eight of Cups with the Hermit. So... Um, <laughs> the Eight of Cups is abandonment of current projects because of desolish, desolish, <laughs> desolation, desolation. This is no longer sustaining. It's it's desolate. It has no life. It has no fruit. It has no water. It has no sustenance. It can't give you anything. And then there's the Hermit, which is isolation. So your arguments are going to fall flat because you can't persuade the judge. But back to here, he believes he can. And you know what's interesting, Johnny? That recent filing that Trump just did to try to throw out the, to get Judge Marchand thrown off yeah. the case, taught, he was the only one that didn't sign on to it. The actual lawyer representing him is the one that did not sign on to it. With the eclipse tomorrow, this is a great time to remind everyone of the story of Icarus, who flew too close to the sun and his wings were melted off. So, y'all keep flying up there too close to the sun. <laughs> you want to be the center of attention? You go right ahead. You're going to be falling from it's grace. It's not even the sun. It's a toxic fart. That's what it is. <laughs> Gas cloud. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Jupiter of these people's world. It's like this is not the place to be. It has it has no life. It's it it I don't understand. I understand, but I don't understand. You like, have everything that you need in life right now. And as I said, when you have everything, what do you want? Experiences. And that's the thing, like I understand in our in our justice system everybody is entitled to legal representation. But I was thinking Trump would get stuck with the public defender because who the hell would want to tarnish their career and their reputation by going anywhere near that? You know? Oh, the, the people who are defending the Todd Blanche because they were his friends, well, they're still his friends. The people who are defending him, defending Donald Trump, said that, well, everyone is entitled to competent Rep representation. That's why it's okay for him to defend Donald Trump because Donald Trump needs competent representation and it's okay. Everyone's not entitled to competent representation. Everybody's entitled to representation. But yet, if he was entitled to, inco to competent representation, he wouldn't have had Helena Haba, who just lost him all his cases. He keeps representing the same arguments over and over that get dismissed and thrown out, and yet he'll bring them up again and again. It's like, that's not competent. And you know who gets in trouble for that? The lawyers. The uh -huh. lawyers are the ones that get in trouble. Mm -hmm. You see all the other people falling to their doom. Why, don't, why do you want to be one of them? I don't understand. It, well, speaking of which, Navarro apparently doesn't like jail very much. Really? Oh. He thought he was going to the Ritz for, on vacation. Is it really? the lights or the food? Which one is it? How can how can we help you? <laughs> it was probably is the it bedding. a cellmate? He didn't like he didn't like the bedding. the The sheets were too scratchy. That that's what it was. Count. Probably has bed bugs. <laughs> the bread count just ain't high enough. 
where's the Egyptian cotton around here when you need it? You know? <laughs> what I want to know, though, is does he now have any regrets, or is he still standing firm that he was in his right to ignore congressional subpoenas? Jail ain't cute. It ain't like on TV, homeboy. Ain't no camera crew following you around. And you got lines and all this. No. I know somebody that spent six hours in jail and it was like the worst experience of their whole life. <laughs> and I can imagine. Imagine the, the Weaselberg guy. And he's what, 78 years old? 70 something years old, used to living great in Mr. Rich Boy in New York, and he got thrown into Rikers, the worst one, for months. And now he's probably going to go back because he got caught in perjury. Lying again. <laughs> he would do it again. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, I'm I'm getting he's close to having a mental uh, breakdown though. Um, he's he's like seeking you know like Republicans talking to them trying to get the help you know to get him out and um, temperance here. But he's he's close to having a mental breakdown I think. Um, but he defends his actions, so he would do it again. I hope he gets about 20 more years to go with that when they start ticking up these fake elector cases. <laughs> Change your address. And you live there now, buddy. He's not yeah. a young man. Uh, does he regret it? No, he only regrets he got caught. Yeah. That's it. Oh, good God in heaven. Does mm -hmm. he regret it? No. <clears throat> the Eight of Swords, there is his incarceration, but he is committed to keeping the secrets, basically. So he wants to to protect still. Has has Donald Trump come to see you? Has he brought you any little Debbie snacks? Has he put some money on your books? Has he given you the conjugal visit? Has he at least brought you some sunglasses so you could has he done anything for you since you've done everything for him? He's Peter lost his law license, and as Chris is noting here in the chat, he's begging for his law license so that he has a way to make an income when he gets out. Like he doesn't have a you, good luck. You're gonna be at Wendy's drive through at 12 a.m. <laughs> maybe, maybe because they're laying off a bunch of people because the minimum wage went up. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell, that'll be the day when I drive to Taco Bell in my little mini town in the middle of the night and I see some former Trump aide there. <laughs> you know what you could do. Because people always think, oh, and the, the immigrants want these jobs. Well, that's the easiest one for them to get because the people who are in charge of that only hire them because they're cheaper. You can always go cut grass and paint houses, too. You can get that job with no law license, no license license, no nothing. You can remove snow here in Illinois. In the, the Trump water. landscaping program, him <laughs> and Papadopoulos and Mike Flynn and all y'all can go in. The Rudy Giuliani crematorium and... Four Season Landscaping Company is coming true. That was prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the video of this lady. She's in her like late 60s who has to report to jail for a few months because she was one of the rioters. And she's she's sitting there crying about it because I was I did it because God told me to. I was praying and they're and they're infringing on my First Amendment rights. First of all, where in the Bible does it say to storm the Capitol? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, she's just, and this, this woman in her late 60s is about to go to prison for a few months. A regular Joe Schmo, like you guys and myself and everybody in this chat, who's about to go to prison for Donald Trump, who still doesn't see the errors of her ways because God told her to, she was praying while she was there, and they were taking away Over her. Deuteronomy, thus start a riot, thus say of the Lord. Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> if 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 a, a, adulterer, a thief doesn't win the election, please start a riot. No, I don't think it says that. Anymore. 
<laughs> well, well maybe it does maybe it does say that in the little Lee Greenwood Trump Bible because yeah. you know, <laughs> that is the edited version. <laughs> He's not Jesus anymore. That sounds too much like Asus. <laughs> no, no, sleep with porn stars all you want <laughs> while your wife is uh, at home giving birth to uh, having given birth to your son. It just makes me wonder how many people that have have gone to prison or about to go to prison for this clown. How many of them have had a come to Jesus moment, going, "Oh crap, I was conned, and I just ruined my life." for a con man and how many are like this lady that are just like no or the whole patriot wing in the prison the 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 capital rioters that were violent like how well, long the is it shaman gonna, guy is running for um, you to figure it out you know yeah the shaman guy he hadn't learned a thing he's trying to run in uh in arizona state, yeah in the run. state state congress mm-hmm the same man who he didn't like prison either because they didn't have any vegan food. <laughs> okay. Drink water. Anyway, speaking of prison. Eat grass, it's vegan. Okay. <laughs> speaking of prison, Ted Cruz. Well, here's hoping. Ted Cruz. <clears throat> apparently has a podcast made, I think, too on iHeartRadio. And he said that he is not getting anything. He's volunteering his time for this podcast. And there is a group who is basically lobbying, if you ask me, but they've sewn a lot of money into his um, super PAC This did iHeart. And so the reporter comes up to him and asks him about it, and then he says it's disappointing what's happened to the media. That was his response. Sir, that's just not an answer to my question, though. Are you getting kickbacks? Are you getting money? Are you violating ethics for this I Heart Media campaign contribution? And are you getting kickbacks? Mind Are you, you getting dog care? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I'm not trying to slight all of iHeart, but iHeart owns Revolt, too. Revolt was owned by Sean, Sean Puffy, Diddy Daddy Combs, who is also under, well, not currently, but might be under investigation for sex trafficking. So that they do some business with some very interesting people, is all I'm saying. But... um. What I want to know is, is he getting any sort of sweetheart deal or kickback or something from this campaign contribution? Heart. There's your I heart. Okay. <laughs> We're delivering something. And then there's the birds, his talk show, radio. So there's oh. your little I heart radio. Are they giving him kickbacks? Yes, it's being delivered. Mm -hmm. I agree Pinnacle School out, so I think that's <laughs> he's such a oh god i saw the polls that he's neck and neck with the guy that's running against him what is texas what is what he ain't I, doing nothing for y'all what is happening i mean i'm just well what's the guy's name down there the crooked attorney general that's been convicted paxton, but paxton has a really nice little habit of getting rid of votes hmm. too so uh, here's to hope this that, one burn that one uh-huh. <laughs> they are definitely moving some money around for him, you know, support for his government position. And you know, this this is something um that he's done before. It's nothing new. So um there's my yes card, strength on that, shifting money around in abundance. Um promoting his image and, and three of pentacles working together on dark money. Um, and if he wants, even a, take a little vacation, <laughs> get off to Cancun. Cancun cruise. <laughs> yeah. Take a little vacation if you want, Mr. Cruz. Um, yes. Three of pentacles. And not only that, but the group here, there will be some exposure, eight of swords in the tower. So yes, we will, we will hear, we will hear more about this. So that was um, a technical violation, or is that legal? 
It's it would be some sort of um violation. Yeah. And campaign contribution violation or something like that. Um okay. This is the wrapper section of the live stream. Puff Daddy, who is on the hook, right? Well, I shouldn't say that because he technically, okay, so this is what they're saying right now, is he is currently not the target of the investigation. However, both of his homes were raided at the same time. They arrested people that they found in there. His son is being implicated in a whole bunch of stuff. And he's One got, of yes, and I have heard, like I've said before, I've heard more rumors about him than anybody in all of Hollywood. Well, and his old girlfriend that sued him for sexually abusing her and stuff and, uh, you know, letting people gang up on her. He, he, yes. he, yeah, he paid, he paid, he paid that off because, you know, that's what innocent people do. They pay off, you know. Nuisance lawsuit. Yeah, sure it is. Yeah. If you're innocent, be innocent. He's a billionaire. Too, or at least, you know, worth, I don't know how much he has liquid, of course, today. And I ain't checked his account balance or nothing, but he's got enough money to fight it in court if he wanted to. But a lot of people are now accusing him of a lot of things. And he apparently has got a shadow walk with Epstein to where there's a bunch of records of stuff. To where he's got a whole bunch of people's names. He's got a whole bunch of videotape of people interacting with all kinds of people, pastors and celebrities, sports players, politicians, which is where we're going with this. Um, will there be any household names, politicians caught up in the Diddy scandal? Some people that we would know. Because he likes favor too. He is one of those people, and I just learned this the other day too, that Puff Daddy's daddy, <laughs> Sean Combs, his father used to run with um, whoever that gangster is that they made the movie about that Denzel Washington was in. And so he, he's always been sort of in that world. And Puff Daddy once blew up someone's car, too. So he's, he's, he's a person that people in the industry are afraid of and afraid to speak about. And so he has yeah. a very... Um, Epstein type of list going on too. Got like seven kids, but I don't know how many different women. It's there are any household politicians in his town. Any Republican parties lately? <laughs> <laughs> Friends with people up in the uh, that have rubbed elbows with the Supreme Court by any chance? I mean, because then there's a a very powerful woman with a lot of financing that likes to go on a lot of vacations. But those vacations and very expensive trips. That's why I was saying. <clears throat> Any ties to anybody that has friends in, up in the very, very, very high court? Because it's a woman. It ends with a woman. So, no, not Beyonce. I'm thinking somebody like. No, I'm asking specifically. I mean, hell, it could be Beyonce, too. But I'm asking specifically about politicians. politicians. Uh-huh. I get a, a, a very wealthy woman. That has powerful friends that go on vacations and she's there too. And the only person I can think of just because of the headlines is Jenny Thomas and Clarence Thomas. So I get the, the light's going to get shined on somebody uh, that there is tangible evidence that will come out through this. Um, you know, temperance, uh, he's trying to keep it quiet. He's very anxious about this coming out, but there's my big yes card. I'm getting there's three people that are really going to regret knowing him that are about to um, uh, crash and burn. So um, media, um, tapes, whatever, messaging, whatever it is, there's, there's, there's evidence. 
communications? Um, there's a woman of some sort here with the Queen of Swords, the Empress as well, and the Four of Wands. So also possibly with someone at his parties that may have dabbled in exploring sexuality and things of that nature too. So, uh, yes. And like I said, his house and his, 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 what you call it, his bodyguard has said, and many people have said, actually, there's cameras everywhere. So you go into these rooms and that's basically all the room is there for. Cause one guy said he walked into the room and there he was fooding with some guy. And it's, so he's got camera and footage of all of this. And so and he can blackmail people with that to get them to do what they want. Homeland Security might have some all that. <laughs> anyway, so the next one and the last one, praise Jesus, Kanye West is being sued because of his academy. The dog, the unaccredited Don de West Christian Academy. Just tied to the the church his church that he tried to start. No, that's what well he's no that one's separate from this sort of but this one is supposed to be a school school. Like you can you know you're reading writing arithmetic type thing. That was his album he was doing. The Yay Way. <laughs> yes. Um, but he's being sued for $35,000, so it's not, you know, some astronomical, it's more of the principle, I guess. The person is suing for damages after he basically humiliated the staff and emotionally traumatized the kids, and this one person is suing him. Now, mind you, this is just amongst other suits that he has, so he's being sued again, but he would be standing in front of the kids and saying the Jews are greedy and the Jews are taking my money. He compared himself to Hitler several times during conversations, open public conversations, and he would say he's on his Hitler stuff. Well, he didn't use the word stuff. And so now he's being sued for $35,000. And what's the guy named Todd something? Um, Trevor Phillips. That is the name of the guy who is suing him. He said on several occasions he has been threatened and he's threatened the students and all of that. And he said, I'm coming for you and then I'm coming for the Jews and I'm coming for the gays after that. <laughs> Apparently. So he's being sued for threatening staff and students. $35,000. How will that go? Trump supporter. He's going to go the way of uh, Trump University. Uh-huh. Because my genius is not accredited. This is a drop in the bucket to what's coming, is what I'm hearing. I think I don't know what kind of license you have to have to start a school, <coughs> but this is a strong case against him. It's like the the details of the payout are going to come out here. Um, he's going to do an agreement, so I think there'll be a settlement out of court. Um, but there's going to be an abundance more changes that are coming because he's he's doing this over and over and over and over again. So. Um, I think he's going to get blocked from having a school eventually. This <clears throat> this is I think just as you said, a drop in the bucket. 
There's a nine of pentacles, four of pentacles. So there's, there is, it ends in the five of swords. So there is defeat. So I think he will actually lose this one, but we'll see. But there's something around a whole bunch of money that he is trying to hang on to because he is being burdened by a company here. And I don't think it's Adidas. I know they've already dropped him or something. So he lost a lot of money there. But there is a burden coming around that part. Some big company here with the Ten of Pentacles in him and a lot of pressure and burden. And that's what he's trying to hang on to there is the money that would come from them. But he is going to be moving Six of Swords into a time of poverty, poverty in relation to what we're talking about. He's not going to be poor, but he's going to lose a bunch here because this is lacking of resource in whatever this thing is with the company here, that line. He loses a bunch of resource from those people and has to go seek it elsewhere. Um, the Seven of Pentacles as well. So whatever kind of investments, this word of warning is going down the tubes. And then, Nick chooses the reading again, the tower is called the house of God in this one. And it's because they want you to be more grounded. Is In the book, I had to read, like, why is it called the house of God? Because this is ego and hubris, and you sort of get above yourself. And what would happen if you brought it all back down to where it was simpler and a little more graceful, a little more humble? What would happen if you were a more humble person and then so forth and so forth? I guarantee you, Kim Kardashian doesn't let her her kids she had with him go to that school. <laughs> Idea. <laughs> yeah, and that should tell you all you need to know about that school. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus, Christian. There's a song called Wings of Forgiveness by India Ari. In the song, she says, if Gandhi can forgive persecution, if Nelson Mandela can forgive his oppressors, if Jesus can forgive crucifixion, then we can forgive too, basically. Donald Trump has compared himself to Elvis, saying that he looks like Elvis, to Christ, and now Nelson Mandela, saying that he would love to go to jail just like Nelson Mandela. Spell Nelson Mandela, you son of a... I, I, this man is something else. <laughs> so I want to ask, I know we've asked it before. I want to ask it again. Will he I, ever sell, sell? No, yeah, he will, yeah, he'll sell anything. Will he ever serve any significant jail time? More than 10 days, ever. I, I guarantee you he doesn't even understand what Nelson Mandela was put in prison for during apartheid. Sorry. <laughs> I guarantee you, he just learned about Nelson Mandela just by the name before he went out and did that speech. Yes. He had no idea who the guy was. Nelson Mandela. And Johnny, may I ask, was this before or after at his rally when he said, would you rather have a black president or a white president? Personally, I don't know. I didn't hear him say that one. Uh-huh. He did that at one of his, I think it might have been the one where he was lined up with the cops. I'm not sure. But that just happened too. Oh my God. He also claims that Biden was all uh, jacked up on cocaine during the State of the Union. He can't. That was way back in March. He can't get over it. It's like, meanwhile, who ran the pharmaceuticals in the White House when he was president? I believe that was Trump. Uh -huh. I had the candy man in charge. Uh -huh. Will Trump ever spend more than 10 days in prison? Hey. He's, he's taunting the judges. You know, he's just taunting them, wanting to be thrown in jail. You say what this thing, but I'm going to say it anyway. The world is completion. They got the world card, so he'll spill eternity in hell because there's the devil card. But Chris, jail. Yeah. 
They want him more isolated than jail. Um, because he's he's too big of a national so, you know, he's like a spy. Um, they they'd love to put him in jail, but I think they're blocking the idea of, of putting him in jail. I think he's going to get returned somewhere in isolation uh, because he's he. They're too nervous about putting him in general population. I mean, look at look at Navarro. He's talking to the press from jail and stuff. They don't they don't want him where he has any contact with anybody where he can talk. They want to burden his his communications. Um, I don't I don't think he'll ever end up in jail anywhere. I think he'll end up under home confinement or something or, or home uh, confinement my ass. Or mental institute. I'll say it till the day I die. Alcatraz is vacant. Period. If you want off that island to talk to the press, you got to swim across that big stretch of the freaking Pacific that's got a bunch of big fish with a lot of teeth. So um, I asked, will he spend any time in prison more than jail or prison for more than 10 days i got the crossroads the snake and the mice multiple problems and issues that get taken away so okay. i'm gonna say i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say yes <laughs> that hell's all right with me alcatraz is open there. It's open. I mean, uh, yeah. he's going to get locked down somehow, but yeah, I'm getting them in. Alcatraz. I'm, I'm, I vote for Alcatraz. I wonder if, and I don't, I don't mean this in case the Secret Service is listening. <laughs> I don't mean this as a threat, but I wonder if he dies before it ends. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did say. <laughs> he's uh you know he's he's such a good golfer and he's such a good swimmer he's a uh you know better swimmer than michael phelps so yeah put him oh, out on the he did, not. did he say that right? he he's the greatest at everything he could beat muhammad he ali as swear to god <laughs> maybe floating maybe floating with all i mean i'm not a beauty queen but with michael all phelps is a fish you're not gonna be Michael Phelps likes marijuana and still swims better than everybody else on the in the, in the competition. You were better swimmer than Mike. Oh my God! Again, the narcissism is a foreign concept to me. I don't understand that at all. Nothing wrong with ego or sense of self, but when you get that egotistical, you got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> he's up. He's he's up in in some other dimension, man. Like he's, he's a better up. Jesus than Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Johnny. He's better than God. He's better. I will have saved the world in two days instead of three. <laughs> yeah. He's a better Jesus than Jesus. He's a better God than God. Oh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Out that prayer flag. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anthony, they should have had him build the Titanic. It wouldn't have sank. I'm just saying. Nobody knows. I've been the captain of it. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have sank. I've been the captain. It went right to Russia where he. You gotta do the. You gotta do the hands, Jenny. The hands. <laughs> you have to make them smaller, though. I, you have to. <laughs> that's his energy. That's, what, that's all that is. That's what that is. His energy yeah. healing. That's what that is. <laughs> I have to pull my my wrists over him. So my uh, my shirt over him so I can make him pull it so the person in the chat, somebody said, you know, when, when he was saying that he's a better swimmer than Michael Phelps, somebody in the chat said, well, poop does float. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so, what's going to be his next grip? Is it holy water? What? What? What's next? I'm telling you, he missed out on that prayer handkerchief. Bible, blood of blood of Jesus prayer handkerchiefs. I'm telling you. 
What's his next? Oh, that's right. George Santos did build the Titanic. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, okay, but he built it, and that's why it sank because he's a fraud. <laughs> if Trump would have did it, it'd been all right. Uh -uh. Unless a Democrat was steering, then maybe not. You know how that goes. Better swimmer than Michael Phelps. Is he faster than than Usain Bolt too? Well, I, I'm sure he's Aquaman in his head. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Spider-Man and all of them rolled into one. <laughs> Swimming with the fishes, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I start with the Seven of Swords, so we already have something that is a scheme and a scam already. The five of wands and the six of swords, there may be there. I don't, okay, I don't have the, oh, that's so interesting. I can't even not say it because I was trying to say something different because Jen said holy water. <laughs> this is not, I don't have the Hierophant, but the six of swords is a transition card for me. So it's almost like heaven water, if you will, so holy water. So there may be something around a Trump water or a purified water or a MAGA water or patriot water or something stupid like that that's supposed to remove impurities or remove, it's like it's one of those alkaline type of blah, blah, blah type of things. But it's it's meant to be even better than anything that's on the market type stuff. So I can't do it right now. So do the do the is holy water like a thing for all Christians or is that only a Catholic thing? I don't think well, I can say for us Christians, we never used it. We just did the communion part, but we never used holy water. We use anointment oil. Because you know, where I get my holy water to clean my house and stuff, I have to go to the Catholic church. Uh -huh. And I go in there and I get I straight up get jugs. I don't care who's looking at me all funny. Like <laughs> I get jugs. I didn't know. Southern Baptists, you know, regular Baptists, Episcopal, like, do they use holy water, too? Possibly. I don't know we never did Southern Baptists, but there are some Christians, I'm sure, that do. Because, I mean, Christian Catholic ain't too far apart, so. Yeah. Well, I guess the loser is going to do something for transportation. So something for your automobile, um, something tangible, something so maybe it's a new flag for your automobile, or maybe it's a new bumper sticker or something. Some something that's secured on an automobile, so attached. Uh, whatever it is, there's like there's regulations that are going to get burdened by this. So uh, whatever it is, like it comes to an ending when it's looked into. So whatever it is, it's it's in violation of something. Um, but it'll lead to more things that he makes money off of. Um, he He's probably thought about holy water, something healing from the church, but <laughs> right now it's like too hard for him to get access to there it. it is. There it is, Jim. <laughs> That's secure to your car, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I drunk bobblehead. He's a human bobblehead. I can't. <laughs> I mean, watching all those poor bastards buying holy water probably got it out of the toilet in Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> I, I always said he needs to be making license plates, so that would make sense if he sold license look, plates. Look inside your holy water. There's there's a couple of documents floating around in there. <laughs> <laughs> or or a few floaters in there. Where did that come? <laughs> oh, um, Lily's anchor and fish. So here's the business venture. Lilies would be flowers. <laughs> it's also purity, isn't it? <laughs> purity, flowers, um, something with a Florida Lee on it of some sort. This would be paperweights, um, anything heavy, anchors, paperweights, um, bookends, that sort of thing. So Maybe something like that um, could also, because both of these are portrait cards, maybe he's going to start selling portrait cards for like paperweights or bookends. 
<laughs> because there's fluid and water inside too. And you don't have to make them specifically for Christmas. They can be seeds or something. Mm -hmm. Because it's got water somehow here with the fish. So snow globes, paperweights, that sort of stuff. Get God. But he's going to have problems getting people on board. The promises and contracts or whatever, they're, they're not going to be no bueno. Well, I think I saw somewhere too out of all those <clears throat> Trump Jesus Bibles. I think he's only sold what, like 25 or something like that? It's, oh. It wasn't even, I don't even think it broke over 100. What was wrong with them? Somebody said something was wrong with them. Was the, the lining coming out or something? What was wrong with the I know list? that there, I know about the sticky pages. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's probably the, well, you know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the maybe it's not bound right, you know. Well, speaking of not bound rights, um he's now suing the truth social investors, right? Uh-huh. I mean, people are just lining up to do business with this guy. <laughs> he's got such a stellar reputation, so above board. You're suing because your money scheme didn't get you the money you want. What's what's thank you, Joanne. What's going to go on there? What's gonna happen? How's that going to work out? How's that going to pan out? The outcome of him suing the yes, because mind you, that's the that's his first line of attack. Would anybody? Oh, you said I'm fat, I'm going to sue you. You said I'm too orange, I'm going to sue you. you da, 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 da. He, he likes to sue people. He ties up the court system a lot of times but here's, his whole life with garbage. But Johnny, how is he coming up with the money to start new lawsuits? Mind you, the civil lawsuits against him from the people in Congress, that's coming up here in a few months. Yeah. So, And he can't make his 400 and something thousand million dollar freaking bail. Where are you coming up with money to start a new lawsuit over here when you got three more civil ones coming down the pike? <laughs> Where you have to make the lawyers you have to hire for New York and Georgia. You had to go hire some shady guy that sells bad loans to bad people with credit, you know, to make What's to make up half, half because he couldn't come up with the whole. What's our question? Um, his truth social lawsuit, how's that going to go? Since he's doing his people who didn't get his partners money he was trying to steal. That'll teach him to start a business with Trump. <laughs> what idiots. I, what, what, but I mean, after all this, what made you think that was a good idea? I mean. All you had to do was how to see how he was before he became president. Nothing's changed. Nothing has changed at all. Thank you, Charlie. There is, um, so what, what kind of oracle? I'm just reading it. Anyway, that said it went public at eight million or eight billion dollars, uh -huh. and now it's like and it's nothing. Tank down very fast. It's it's a pump and dump. Yes, uh -huh. and he's gonna, he's gonna he's gonna end up with you know. Uh, regulators and stuff looking at it he's going to end up in a bunch of trouble over that i mean we've been saying that since well anybody on on youtube and hell anybody watching youtube has been saying that this is just a scheme and a scam and now oh look turns out it was yeah didn't need cards for that one i'm just wondering where the hell he's getting the money for all these lawsuits and stuff because the only the rnc only has so much He's going to lose this, too. <laughs> he's not, he's not, it's going nowhere. It's It's like, you know, he's going to be all emotional because he's going to be out in the cold from it. You know, here's the truth coming out. Um, his, his, with his partners and stuff and the investments that they put into the company. Trump's going to have to walk away from this. He's not, he's not going to win. Loser. <laughs> Loser. He's not going to get what he wants. The family, home, properties, losses. 
whoops, this could be the home, not like his actual home, but like the website, the home site. Yeah. Loss. He's going to lose it. He's, and also, by the way, two of the people got busted for uh, securities fraud. Sure. Go ahead, Spanky. Go ahead. Sure, you got a whole, the world could do, I think the world would do really well with lot, a lot less billionaires. So hopefully some of these idiotic billionaire friends of him's just want to give them all this money to pay legal fees. And then there goes Bring a check. Trump bucks. Are you writing a, a Trump bucks check? This is ha ha bucks. <laughs> 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 That's what you get, dumbass. Yeah. This is why. Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is not a fair and balanced channel. I just want you to know that right now. I'm not going to pretend that I like Republicans nor Donald Trump. I okay. just want you to know, in case you are one of those people who want to be in the middle, this is not the place that's going to reflect that. So <clears throat> to explain what I said that for is we also did not come up with calling him fool, believe it or not. When you do readings for those learning tarot and you do a reading on a subject and it comes up over and over and over again, the same card like the five of cups has been, that means that that person embodies the energy of that card that has its own set meaning. He could have come up as the sun, high priestess, anything else, but he comes up as this because this person is unprepared for life. They just sleep into things without thinking and then that is him. And then there's the world card. He is done. This part is done. So it's like that's the first two cards. What everything else is saying, though, is something is about to begin from this. That part is done. The whole you lost all your money. Okay, fine. Because you got the five of pentacles, but you have the moon card. The moon is treacherous. There's something underneath the surface that you have not seen yet. And it will emerge because it's a plot. And so it will emerge eventually. And then there is the will of fortune. So this is a game of time, and there is some sort of date that is going to be on the calendar. So we may have some sort of court case out of this. But never mind the lawsuit. That's goofy. We all know that is. There's some other kind of court case out of this situation that will be on the calendar. This is maybe hold next year, because sometimes the Will of Fortune takes a whole cycle. But the Will of Fortune and the world. So this time next year, we may have a court case going on the calendar for Truth Social. <laughs> you just don't get enough problems, do you, buddy? I, I don't have enough lawsuits. Let me <laughs> let me stir up some more illegal stuff. Well, How does he come up with so many illegal ideas? And Jenny, <laughs> and that's the thing, though. I don't have enough lawsuits. He doesn't have the money to pay for all the freaking lawsuits. Oh, oh. What the hell? He's, he's got to be pretty creative to, to keep coming up with schemes that are illegal. <laughs> you know, he's I want to know his feelings towards Judge Cannon right now, because she refused to dismiss his lawsuit. Well, she's but the she's only one he's be... hanging and, out to dry right now. And she's supposed to be in his back pocket. Uh -huh. And in his tableau that I did, there's a woman committed to his innocence. because He had the Six of Cups in House Justice, which is innocence in the court. And so there is a person and there's a woman at the end of that, too. So there is a person committed to his innocence, but why is it that she's not leaning that way and dismissing the case? Because there's somebody, you know, breathing down her neck, basically. Um, so how is he feeling towards her right now? Is he going to make a midnight phone call, maybe? Yeah, I was reading on this the other day. I got Man Lily's Tower. There's a man that's mentoring her on what what to do. She ain't coming up with this on her own. I don't know who that man is. But how's he feeling about Canon? Oh, the cards I'm using. I don't know if you can see that. Tarot, I-L-U-M. Hey, that's an M. Weird and like the Luma. He, he loves her, you know, and, and there's a partnership through the court system that's, you know, unknown. So there is somebody guiding her. Um, 
she's may have to abandon her work though because something um, is quite successful in um, you know the the whistleblowing um, something that that is working in his service too much. So he's about to get all pissed off because he's about to get bullied out. So this this is my Jack Smith card. The fool comes up for uh, Trump in the Five of Cups. Jack Smith shows up for me as the bully. He's going to push this through the 11th Circuit. Are you I back? Got, Roo -roo. The dog, the scythe, the tree, clover, and crossroads. He feels pretty good and very, very lucky that she's going to make the right decision for him. There's the risk. There's the choice by keeping Jack Smith off his back. There's the person that's protecting getting cut off here. However, these are two action cards and it ends in a separation. And that card mirrors this card. So enjoy it while you can. Enjoy the protection while you can, because it ain't going to go the way you think it's going to go. So that's what I get. But overall, very happy. Very, very happy. Luck and risk in his favor. A lot of opportunity and a lot of risk. More than one. More than one. More than one good luck opportunity with her. Like she's gonna just gonna keep doing him favors. Yeah. I get worried that he he is worried he'll feel isolated. The nine of swords, hermit, and the knight of cups is someone he likes. Or knight of cups is yes, it's 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 sort of romance and wit and charm and all of that. A person that likes you, but it's kind of superficial. So it's not though he cares for you or he'll give you a kidney if you're losing one type of thing. He, it's transactional, and so he's worried that you're being isolated. He's being isolated too. Him. There's a scheme, and he needs you as part of his scheme. And she's and she's playing along right along with it. Oh. Uh -huh. So um, I had a question, but it has resolved. And so it's no longer a question, but I want to throw it out there anyway, not as a question, but just to let you all know, there were six inmates. It was a Christian, a Jew, a Muslim, an atheist, and a centurion walking to a bar, but they, they were in jail and they wanted to see the eclipse and they are all going to be on lockdown during the eclipse. And the atheist said it is a violation of his religious views or his religion, <laughs> his religious freedom to not see it because it is something that unifies people because we're all sort of taking part in one thing at the same time. And so it would be beneficial if they could all go and see the eclipse together. So they were denied and so they sued. And so to this morning or as of a couple of days ago, they have won. And so they will be able to see the eclipse as well. So there. So now the taxpayers have to pay for their your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but they were saying everybody's going to be on lockdown because the area is going to be so full of people watching the eclipse, and so you need to be all in your cells at the time. But they're going to be able to go and see it too. There is in New York. Um, but my last question. There, speaking of jail, there's a sheriff by the name of Jamie, J-A-M-E-Y, Noel, or Noel, N-O-E-L. He and him and his wife and his son have pled not guilty. For what? And he has been accused of taking taxpayers' money and living it up. Living his life like it's golden, as the song, and the song oh, says. There, he was the sheriff in Indiana. He's accused of stealing millions in public funds. Millions in public funds. He spent $50,000, $53,966, something like that, on cigars. He yes. needs to meet, um, <laughs> what's her name down there in Arkansas with her podium? Yeah, yeah. Sarah Huckabee. 
There he is. That's four days ago. Indiana sheriff accused of stealing millions of dollars, $50,000 on cigars, $325,000 on vacation. Wow. Uh, well, vacation. His daughter is also accused, and she was charged with tax evasion and allegedly charging those in the because he was also not just a sheriff, but he was in charge of um, like the fire safety unit at the local fire department and volunteered there. So he was taking money from there too because he had the credit card. He was putting his child support on that credit card. <laughs> what? What? Are you get out right now, John? Inside of this, y'all go. <laughs> So all three have pled not guilty. Um, the investigators are seeking financial records for the Riverside Cigar Shop and the Lounge in Jefferson, the Indiana town where Noel uh, resides. According to the search warrant in the affidavit, he spent $56,662.37 in cigars over a five-year period beginning in 2018. The state also alleges he spent $132,000. $467.39 in the fire department's money on Marriott vacation clubs and expenses. Half as much as Melania spent paying a stylist on cigars. Mm -hmm. And he spent um, $68,954 on a Florida timeshare. <laughs> so he's he spent a lot of money. Um, and now, mind you, keep this in mind, too. Slide this one in here. Him, not his son, I must spoke. Him, his wife, and his daughter all went to jail. Or got arrested. He posted a $75,000 cash bail. From the money he stole? <laughs> I don't know where he got from. from the money he stole? His wife, Misty Noel, a $30,000 cash bail. And his daughter, Casey Noel, $20,000 cash bail. All three. Family that crimes together. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know, and now mind you, again, pled not guilty. How did, did they have the receipts? Yes, I mean, okay, on, on a share salary, how did you afford $50,000 for cigars? Yes. On a share of salary. Uh huh. And then, over the over over the period of four or five years, you spent fifty thousand alone in cigars. That's more than a car. Yeah. More than a house. Yeah. <laughs> At least here, you know, it's more than, depending depending on the size of the house I mean, where you, you live. Need one in Oklahoma for forty thousand dollars, as is, but you know, you need to do a lot of repairs. But that's a house. You're literally setting it on fire. Yeah. Literally. And sometimes just sitting there with it on fire. They like he's buffing it the entire time. What? 50,000 and then 160,000 on vacations, 300,000 on foreign vacations, and da, 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 da. millions of dollars in taxpayer money. And money. somehow this moron didn't think he was going to get caught. There you go. It's always the way. Nope. <laughs> nor his daughter. <laughs> But and then you have a bail of seventy five thousand, and you just plop down seventy five thousand and get more. I'm sure Jesus told him to do it. I'm yes. sure Jesus, <laughs> Jesus said, "You got to do and, it." And mind you, again, he took some of the fire department's money and paid his child support that he has with some other woman, a child he has. He has else. more besides the daughter that was in yeah, jail. So his daughter that went to jail. She's grown. He's got a child with somebody else that he's paying child support with the fire department money. So, so <laughs> is the wife the baby mama that she he was no, there's gotta be that third, there's gotta be he's got a grown child. Mm -hmm. He's got a child he's playing child support on. Mm -hmm. And then but he has the current wife who's in jail with wife. him. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out the family dynamics. <laughs> <laughs> so he's married and then they have an adult child. He's got another child with some other woman. But she's not apparently involved in all the vacations and cigar smoking, apparently. Now, oh, here's another little piece of this story, too. Um, as the Clark County Sheriff from 2015 to 2022 simultaneously headed the County Republican Party. So he, he was head of the Republican Party there in the county. 
of Clark County, Indiana. And the 9th uh, District GOP and like ran a nonprofit you. firefighting and rescue agency. So it was a nonprofit um, firefighting and rescue agency, not necessarily the fire department. Um, they're in the Township for Volunteer Firefighters Association, known as New Chapel EMS. I have are a, we I looking have at a, his uh, jail time, or are we looking at his re-election eligibility? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just, kind of, I just have a really stupid question, not close, <laughs> but just thinking out loud. Out of all the corruption that we've seen these last few years, all of it, the totality of it. There has only been one Democrat that's currently in the Senate right now that got busted for corruption. Everybody else is Republican. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? <laughs> Can somebody make that make sense? Because it's supposedly the party of law and order, the party of, of self-responsibility and self-accountability. It's the party of holier than thou Jesus. But they're all they're all the ones that are criming out there. Like Am I getting something wrong? <laughs> State investigators allege in a search warrant of affidavits that Noel took out credit cards in the fire agency's name and used those credit cards to illegally purchase designer clothing, liquor, cigars, home appliances, vacation, travel, college intuition for two of his youngest daughters, and child support payments to a former county official with whom he followed a child. So he followed a child with one of the officials there in the county. <laughs> What's going to happen to him in this case? He again pled not guilty. That's my question. Dear <laughs> Lord. Head of the GOP there in, in Clark County. Wow. And I'm sure he's anti-abortion too, right? <laughs> I'm sure he's anti-abortion using fire department money to pay for some woman's kid that he knows. Jesus probably told him to do it. Like, you yeah. know. <laughs> you deserve these vacations. You deserve that new car. You deserve to pay for your child's education. Wild, no shame. I mean, no shame. But please keep telling me about how woke is going to destroy this country. Because there are no, there are no poor people in Clark County that you could have done anything for. Millions oh, of. I'm a cigar. <laughs> I mean, just. Uh, yeah, your your goose is cooked. Right? So, mm. What a shame. <laughs> $75,000 bail paid in cash, though. And that's, and that's money that taxpayers ain't going to get back. Mm -mm. There's a woman that has knowledge in the family about what he was doing while he was in the law that's going to speak out. So there's probably going to be more. Oh. There's going to be more. Also, probably around schools or universities as well. Um, book and Tower. That's oh. like a library school, universities. But it's woman, book, house, tower, birds. Uh, a woman that has knowledge, a woman in secret. So I don't know if there's a mistress, perhaps another mistress or... They somebody around there that has knowledge and secrets about the family and what he was doing while he was in government. She's going to. And also there's something here at his time. I mean, it shows here that he's going to isolation. That's just he's going to prison. <clears throat> but <clears throat> there's something that he was doing there, either making phone calls or um, having meetings or whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if he had. Woman secret. I wouldn't be surprised if he had. I mean, he followed a child with one of the officials, so I'm pretty sure he's got somebody else on the side too. Yeah. And who did pay college tuition from the credit cards? Here's here's the school mm -hmm. books and institutions. That would be a school, a library. Um, <clears throat> so I wouldn't be surprised if there's another woman somewhere that's like, oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> I think he's got multiple women too, because I, I I get there's a woman that's going to cause him to end up in jail. Um, there's there's probably multiple lovers. Oh, good dog. Uh -huh. Multiple, like a whole network of them. Uh -huh. I'm I'm getting there's at least three. Oh. He's a or, I hope you had a good time because, dude, it's over. Or he was probably having orgies and stuff, you know. 
As a Republican Party member, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always one of y'all. Why? It's always one of y'all. Always. Yeah. Girl, I ain't said Democrats is perfect, but it's always seemed to be one of y'all. Like, what is happening? Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so there's the Seven of Swords. There's your scheme and your scam. There's your conflict. There is your loss here with the Five of Pentacles. So you're lacking your loss and your poverty and all of that. Um, there is going to be a lot, and I clarified, there's going to be a lot of your illumination and your secrets and stuff that comes out of the surface. And this has almost little to do with money, believe it or not. This is like everything else in life. So there may even be some sort of like um, intimidation that was used as well. So some cases about that. There are some, I don't want to say drugs, but it's... Um, there's there's something that 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 that's illegal. I'll just say it that way here with these these two. So it's not necessarily drugs, but it could be maybe something was looked the other way, or you abused your position basically because mm -hmm. he was sheriff, mind you. <clears throat> and he, oh, he's gonna have a fun time in prison. He's gonna have he's a not fun even good looking. How he can get another woman? It's like because <laughs> in my read, I got the whole family goes because it was. Uh, house, tower, and bird. So the family gets isolated. Mm -hmm. the family goes. His wife to got arrested. He got arrested. One of his daughters got arrested. So being the former sheriff, I'm sure he's going to have a grand old time in prison. Because how many people did this corrupt bastard send to prison while he's over there spending fifty-seven thousand dollars on cigars? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to have a good time. You're going to have a real good time. <laughs> Somebody said, show the picture. <laughs> Lots of women. Yes. Uh -huh. He looks like mm -hmm. a pancake face, dude. I like the article. Had It said spent $50,000 on cigars. Cigars. Spent $50,000 on cigars, investigators. Mm -hmm. On cigars. <laughs> anyway, y'all <laughs> have a good night. Be careful tomorrow for those who go out. There should be a lot of traffic, a lot of crowds, all that kind of stuff. People like to look at astrological things and space and all that good stuff. So y'all be careful out there and take care of yourselves and each other. We will see you next week on Jen Lynn's channel on Sunday. We will also see you on Saturday for it is her birthday. And we will be live that day too. Um, we'll post something about the time, I'm pretty sure. So y'all have a good night. Hey, everybody. <laughs>